So this is Scythe, and um, I've owned this for about seven years, I think. And it's really fascinating. I got this and I was super excited about it, and I broke it out. I even have some videos on it on this channel. And I just got so excited, and um, and I broke it out, and I got, you know, four friends around the table, and we started, and it was an abominable experience. It, you know, I had read the rules, and I'd watched a, a run-through, but it was so complicated that we just had questions and questions and questions. And an hour in, I don't think we've even completed two turns, right? And it was it was horrible. It was just horrible. So it went back in the, it went back up in the, um, in the closet and, you know, and I would talk about it every now and then, and I couldn't bring myself to get rid of it because I love the theme so much, you know, like, um, you know, middle European mechs in the 1920s is so unique. There's nothing like it. Right. And so what changed, there was something that was really fascinating, right? So like seven years later, Friends are around the table, and one of them goes, well, you know, Scythe is just so fun. And I was like, oh, yeah, I own that, but I, I didn't have, you know, I didn't enjoy playing it. And um, and my friend was like, wait, what? You, you own it, but you don't dig it? No, like, what's the issue, right? And I was like, and I told him the experience, and he was just like, we're going to change that, right? And so we sat down, and we played a two-player game, and... He just walked me through the whole experience and it was unbelievably enjoyable. And I I got it right away. And the reason why was, you know, it was a dweller versus a sojourner, right? Like I had come to this thing as a sojourner. I come in, I really didn't get what I was doing. I didn't understand it. And the complexity was outrageously high. But this patient person just played a two player, you know, two player games of Scythe are pretty rare, right? And he just played a two-player game of Scythe with me, and I was just blown away at how enjoyable it was. And now I'm very confident that I can, you know, I can do anything I want with it, right? Like, I can play it with as many people as I want, I can pull it down, and I'm not afraid of it anymore, right? And the reason why we're talking about this today is I think this is Dungeons and Dragons to the T. Like, Dungeons and Dragons is so complicated so different than anything anybody's ever experienced that if you're a sojourner and you come in and you try to understand it it's abominably difficult and many people just slam into a wall right and don't and, but if you find a, a dungeon master who knows what they're doing they can bring you in by the hand and it's just an amazing experience and it's so different and so pow powerful right and i when we were done i was like dude, this is a gift. I, I just, I'm so thankful for your helping me. And Scythe is opened for me now, you know, and I really wonder how many people are having the exact same experience with Dungeons and Dragons, just hitting this brutal wall, you know, and not really able to experience it or enjoy it because it's so different and so massively different. So we are the dwellers. We dwell with Dungeons and Dragons. We know it. We know it backwards and forwards. We fully understand it, right? But think of the sojourners when they come in. It is extremely difficult for them to really get purchase and move forward with this stuff. So just uh, just wanted to give you a heads up. Be the dweller. <laughs>